You know, in the summer, it's crazy in Texas. It's really, really hot in Texas. And if you work from home, you're running the AC all day. The bill started going up $400, $500. Since we got the solar and power walls put in, it's come down a lot. When I switched to Tesla Electric, it started at 100 bucks, and I even had like a $6 bill because they were just able to sell all the extra. I'm Stephen Baxter. Scott Baxter. Sarah Baxter. My dad decided to get solar first. He shopped around like a ton. He went with Tesla and just told me that it was very seamless. He put a hundred bucks down and then signed the documents. They were just there with all the panels, put them all up. We've got a total of 39 panels and the main reason is the power wall backup. Just having the peace of mind that I'm gonna have electricity pretty much 100% of the time regardless. I live just up the road. We have solar and a power wall. Well, Texas, it's a fairly isolated grid situation. In 21, we had a severe ice storm that knocked power out in a lot of communities. People had outages for multiple days. And one of the times we actually didn't even notice that the rest of the neighborhood had lost power because our power all just kicked on and we were sitting comfortably. None of that I have to think about. It just works. We also went with Tesla Electric because everything was sort of integrated in the plan that we were looking at. In Texas, someone who even rents or owns, you have to find your own energy provider. There's definitely a simplicity with Tesla Electric. I will say it's very clear what you're paying and what you're going to be paying. A lot of the other contracts that I had looked at, it changed only based if you used a certain amount of energy or if you were willing to sign up for however many year contract. The power walls provide energy in the evening when the sun isn't shining, so that I'm using that stored energy every night to run my house or, again, with Tesla Electric, to sell that on to the grid as it may be needed for other households. So this bill shows why the dynamic pricing is good. My bill was only six bucks. They also have the virtual power plant earnings that you can get, which again, just makes it a lot cheaper than anything else. The installation, the cost of your equipment is more than gonna be covered for your savings on electricity in a very short time, years, not decades. So with Tesla Electric, there's nothing hidden there and there's no base fee, there's no monthly fee, and that's not common with the electric companies, at least in Texas. Having all that and knowing it's gonna work for long periods of time is really a nice peace of mind.